Good morning, good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in day four of our Start with a Mark challenge that Consti from Atop Serenity Hill is working with. Good morning, good morning. I'm going to try and get this video uploaded in a normal fashion. We've had the worst internet service. What is Tuesday? It started going blinking in off on off on off on off <clears throat> and we couldn't it was not really a great day for the internet yesterday <clears throat> wednesday sorry and I, the, all this weather is giving me weather issues we had huge huge thunderstorms in fact they said today the weather the national weather service is coming or somebody to check and see if they weren't tornadoes that came through here. Not here, but south of us. South west of us. Um, it was awful. We were driving to get haircuts because, you know, that's very important. And who cares about the weather? I don't have enough lights on here. <clears throat> and that's a little better. Anyhow, uh, it was awful. We had a pretty awful day all around. Dinner? No. First stuff I can't talk about, but it was a pretty awful day. And uh, <clears throat> the rain made it worse. I got a horrible haircut. It's not horrible. It's way too short. I like that it cuts my hair, cuts my husband's. That's probably problem number one. Problem number two is she never, ever, ever cuts it the same way twice. Not even using the same tools. <clears throat> or especially not using the same tools and it's like I feel like I have wet hair but I think my neck is just cold and the lower part of my scalp <laughs> is really crazy first world problems right right internet and bad haircuts but anyhow so our internet has been out for a solid 24 hours um I don't know how you do it, Curti. <laughs> I was resorting to having to clean my house. I took down my Christmas decorations, which we didn't have very many anyhow, and they only took a few minutes, but, and they only made it as far as the kitchen table. Now I got to get the boxes and put them back where they belong. So next year, if I do decide to, to decorate a lot here at home, I won't know where they are. I am cutting up. I am not going to use Procreate today, although I've been up since 2 o'clock this morning um, because I had no white noise to sleep with. Yeah, I know. That's a problem, too. <clears throat> and I take a Benadryl before I go to bed, which helps with um, weather-induced ear infections. <laughs> I get ear infections in the spring and in the fall. I used to get them every spring and fall several times, um, but I started taking... <clears throat> sometime when my mom and dad were both very sick which today's my would have been my mom's 83rd birthday um sometimes sometime in that point of my mom and dad being sick i think i had one and the doctor said do you take benadryl and the doctor i've been seeing for like 26 years same guy oh that makes you sound old doesn't it yep <clears throat> anyhow he's probably younger than i am but oh well but he has 10 kids so hello um, super nice guy. Anyhow, uh, he said, I said, no, because he knew I had a problem with Ambien. Oh, I can't take Ambien to save my life. It will not save my life. <laughs> um, and he said, how about Benadryl? Have you tried Benadryl? Benadryl's got the same sleeping issue elements as, um, like a, and I think Tylenol PM does too. Anyhow, it's very mild. I've tried melatonin. That does not work on me. Um, for whatever reason. And anyhow, he advised me to take it. Try it. So I tried it. And not only does it... I don't have a problem falling asleep. I have a problem staying asleep. And um, not only does it help with that. But I, it has reduced the amount of ear infections I've had over the last few years 
which is a win-win in my book. But I forgot to take that last night too. So I've been up since two o'clock. So after I make this, I might just go back to bed and take a nap. Oh, squeaky desk. You're back. Happy New Year. Where you been? I don't think it squeaked the first couple days we were back here. Yeah, we, it was, the weather was just awful here. I mean, I have not, those clouds that I saw on Myrtle Beach before Christmas, I put on my video, they were these black, black, puffy, puffy, puffy. They looked fake. Um, rolling huge, huge things that were just coming through so fast it looked just like that yesterday except it wasn't quite as dark as it was on Myrtle Beach that day I'm trying to make some circles in case you didn't know but I saw this on somewhere the other day and I tried to recreate it on Procreate I'm like okay I need to recreate that in real life but it was somebody that had circles in <clears throat> Then there were messy, messy lines around them. And they were very fat, messy lines. So I'm thinking. And they had theirs done in green. I'm going to do mine in blue, I think. I mean, they were really messy. And they had almost like bows around them. But very messy. And I don't know where I saw it. So if it's you, I'm sorry. I'm not copying you. I just like your results. Uh-oh. What's my prompt for the day? I've already started off wrong. And I don't have room for my, my um, echo or repeating. Okay. I'm repeating these circles. But where am I going to put my um, words for my song? I guess right here. I don't know what the song is going to be. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Okay. Okay. That works for me. Then I need a very, very thick paint. Preferably white. I don't know. Hmm. I wonder if this will work. I don't think I want to do white. I'm pretty sure this is thick. Let's try this. Ooh, you know what? Let's just do this. I bought it. Let's use it. Soft body. Hmm. That might not be thick enough. This is liquid text though. Where'd I get this? You know what? I think I got it in I'm trying to think of, it has a squirt top in um Asheville. It does have a squirt top. How do you open it? Okay. Oh yeah. I love yellow. <laughs> Normally I don't like it. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <clears throat> um, I forgot what I was saying. Anyhow, they blocked out a good bit of the circle and just left like a sliver of it, which I could have cut out that much. Okay, that's not gonna work right. I already messed it up. I think I have way too much paint here. So see that little bit of a sliver is what I wanted. I don't want the slivers in the same spot every time. Ooh, way too much paint.
I did the opposite there. It's supposed to just leave a sliver. Okay, that's pretty darn good right there. Hmm. I think that's going to have to dry. Now, I have a paintbrush full of paint. Oh, art journal I brought home from the beach. I'm trying to finish this one up and I have like two or three pages left in another one. Oh, love that. Love that. Not sponsored. Not sponsored by anybody, but my husband and he doesn't know it. So don't tell him. Okay. Okay. That's our little secret. Okay. This needs to dry. Did I show you these? I think I did. They're so cute. I spent way too much money on these things. Okay, now. We're going to have to wait for the paint to dry. I'll be back. I think this is dry enough. Everything is just enough in my world. It's good enough. It's dry enough. It's wet enough. It's glued enough. It's painted enough. Okay, now... Hmm. Now I'm like, hmm, now what do I do? Huh. I have tons of paper that I could add to this. I might do a curve. For this one, because I kind of messed this one up. I was watching the moon this morning since I've been up since 2.30 this morning. It was really cool. I actually, like, it's almost a full moon here. I guess we all have the same moon, but in our time zone. And I watched it. We have, like, what they call, um, are they called hurricane shutters? No. That is a thing, but that's not what we have. We have French doors on our bedroom, and they have big door floor to ceiling, not floor to ceiling, but top to bottom shutters. And um, I leave them open because this is the bedroom wall. This is the kitchen wall. And we have a deck in the middle. So nobody can see in this window. Um, and I leave them open because I like the light and or the dark and or spying on who's ever in this kitchen, you know. I think what I'm going to do is go over the part that's sticking out in black. But this could be tricky because there's a little bit of dampness going on here. So let's try one of... Oh, you know what? You know what? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh. Hello, old friend. My Stabilo Alls. I haven't... Stabilo Woodies. I haven't used these in a long time. And I think these will go over the wet paint. Good enough. Good enough. Um, anyhow, so the, I was watching the moon move diagonally through those slats and kind of keeping track of it for like an hour. It took an hour to go down like three slats and over out of my view. It was really kind of cool. A meditative practice at 2.30 in the morning when you don't have white noise, right? Should be all the time. I think I'm going to go around this like this and then I'm going to get this black wet because it'll activate activate the black I 
I'm doing it messy on purpose. I hardly have any water here. This probably is not good. Don't do as I do. Do as I pretend like I do. <laughs> you guys probably can't hear it, but there's a huge tractor. They're building a new house here. I think it's about four houses away. And I mean, they're moving tons of dirt because it really wasn't a good cove, a good spot for a house. So they're manufacturing a good spot. One of those, the house is done almost, at least on the outside. But um, now they're moving rocks around and stuff along the water's edge. And I, my husband and I think we saw the beaver this morning. I should go take a picture of where we think his spring and summer home was. Possibly fall too, but now I think I saw him this morning. Now that the water is way down. They're taking the water way down. They do this like every six years or so to kill um, bacteria in the water and to kill some plants that grow that are evasive and harmful to fish and all that kind of stuff. So they say, okay, oh, I really like that. I really like that. But it needs, some, what is it? It needs something else on the yellow. Oh, you know what? I was going through these sticker books yesterday because I was trying to fill up a calendar for my cross stitch as one does, you know. My sisters are great at it. I'm not great at it. Um, but I was going through these and I forgot some of these books have great like full page stickers of course now i'm not going to find one. Oh, like this and i might cut it up or punch it out listen to them the children of the night what music they make dracula Brahm, stoker i love that okay i know i just saw one where is it Here, like this and sometimes you can s there is stickers in here but I don't know if that's the shape I want to use I don't even know what this shape is I think I'm just gonna punch it oh and it's blue and yellow huh. that was accidental truthfully because I really don't know what I would do with these otherwise. So you just put them in your journal. Okay, let's punch out three and three is six. Okay, I wonder if I could pull this out without messing this up. These books were all the rage last year or the year before maybe. And they've made several other editions and several other brands have made things like it. I have quite a, a sub assortment of these things, but these are wonderful for all kinds of things. That one's the Bibliophilia, which has more book stuff in it. I have an Antiquarium, which has all kinds of stuff. I have a Seashore one. I have a Arcana one, a Vintage one. But really and truly, I think they're all kind of like a mixture of everything. Okay, we need six. Okay, let's stop getting sidetracked. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now, this is easier to use. And this is a good way to use some of these things. I should do that. I should go through some of these books and pull out some of them. Now, the only thing is there's stickers embedded in here. So I'm going to have to do like piecemeal it. Oh, but you know what? That might be to my advantage because this shape is luscious. Okay, I'm backing off some of this yellow, even though I love it. That could go in my Hobonichi. See? See? All right. I don't want... I should probably cut them first. 
because I just, I, I, again, I want just pieces. Moon shapes. But the, the sticker itself is not built that way. So it's going to be a test of my abilities here so far. I'm okay. It's backing it off. Okay, I might do another one. That because I don't want them all the same size. Because then it looks planned. Lord knows we don't want anything planned. I'm not completely sold, but not unsold. <laughs> what is the opposite of sold? I started a Christmas glue book. I don't have that much Christmas here. Most of it's down at the beach. But I found a catalog that I kept that has an elf on the shelf on the front. It says a self image and then it's got a self portrait and it's got a um, picture of a printer. He's sitting on top of a printer. Like a uh, personal printer. It's kind of cute. And I'm like, yep. That's going to be my glue book. It's just a place for me to put everything and not feel guilty that I hoarded it. That's the definition of a glue book. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so far not completely sold, but it's working. All right, this one can go here. So yeah, I'm getting my Hobonichi set up yesterday without power. Well, we had power, we just didn't have internet. Um, I got all my gaps filled in my 2022. Now I have to do some journaling, the actual writing part of it. I have post-its galore. This happened on this day. This happened on this day. This football score was this. This was the weather. This was the moon. This is what the dog did. That's basically what I put in my Hobonichi, but I still love it. And I do keep track of something. I try to track something the whole year. I've tracked COVID. I've And I'm tracking, last year I tracked um, Ukraine. And I think I'm just going to continue because surely some point it has to end, right? Surely? Surely, where are you? Surely this has to end somewhere. It's just tragic. Oh, tragic. There's me complaining about no internet. And then there's these people with no heat. And snow. And no food. And no cooking abilities. And the list goes on and on. No health care. <sighs> okay. Somewhere I have a tin of circles. Hmm. If only I knew where that was. Okay. Now we need to write raindrops. Keep falling on our head. And let's do it in this pen color. Now it needs to be blackish. We could do it with, we could do it with this. Because that's how the day started yesterday. And it was crazy weather. be careful here. I put raindrops keep falling, they keep falling. I'm sure Tony Bennett or whoever is saying it like that. Okay. Um, we're calling that one done. I like it for different reasons and I like it, don't like it for different reasons, but I'm going to keep it. I don't get rid of much because I feel like it's a good practice to see stuff that you don't like like that one in your journal and this paper is really thin and it's taking a beating but I'm okay with that because I'd like crinkly lumpy 
It reminds me of myself, crinkly and lumpy. <laughs> Anyhow, I am going to take a nap because I am loopy also. See you all tomorrow. Hopefully our internet lasts. Bye.